What we're looking at over the next four or five years are cuts on average, which will be very similar to the scale of cuts that we saw under the last government. We're not much more than halfway through the overall fiscal consolidation that the government is planning. The effects of cuts of a similar scale mean that those unprotected bits of government spending, local government, defence, transport, police, those sorts of things, are looking at average cuts of in the order of 15%. Uh, over the next four years, taking in total the cuts that they will have faced since 2010 to an average of about one third. The far more important side of it is going to be whether we get serious plans that can be implemented um, that can maintain the quality of public services while seeing the reductions in costs the Chancellor really needs to make his, his budgets work. Inevitably, I think, significant further reductions for local government. We've already seen uh, reductions of t about 25% in council budgets, and the next three or four years are probably going to bring something of the same order again. So significant challenges in terms of balancing the books going forward. Well, we know that set out in the Conservative manifesto were some um, predicted changes for health, um, a commitment for maintaining NHS resources across the life of the next parliament, and actually a predicted increase of eight billion by 2020. Now, that's, that's great news, and it's a lot more um, resources than other sectors are likely to experience within the public sector. However, it doesn't come without significant efficiency requirements. It actually means really reworking how people do their jobs, um, how organisations work together um, to produce services that are of higher quality for the public. That will be a real challenge and it will be really important that the groundwork is laid in the spending review. I think over the past four or five years local authorities have been very successful in making the necessary savings in social care. but the. Um, the changes that have been made, such as changing eligibility criteria or charging or fee structures, um, really aren't there for the future. So we've really got to start finding some very, very new solutions. Key to that is going to be our relationship with partner organisations and how we're able to join up much, much more effectively with the NHS. I think what's key, rather than the ideas themselves, is going to be um, really making sure that the, the evidence is there to support difficult decisions. Um, and that came out very clearly today, especially understanding unit costs across healthcare and across local government and understanding what it does it cost to process a customer interaction, what does it cost uh, to do a social care intervention, what is the cost of, of a bed, and you can compare different parts of the public uh, sector. The Northern Powerhouse and that decentralisation uh, of power and control, it's one of the key unlocking things we need to see. We really need to see political power and control over budgets where people can make decisions and join things up much, much closer to the ground. Already doing a lot, I think. It's about thinking differently about what we do and how we do it. Uh, the importance of strong medium-term financial planning I think is essential so making sure that we think about those challenges over a three or four year period and leave ourselves well placed to balance the books. But the scale of what we've got to come is so significant that what we do need to do is work across health economies. We need to look at overall resources and plan together so that we can look at major changes, transformational type changes, which will enable us to generate those biggest levels of savings. When we talk about integration, I think the thing we should be really concentrating on at the present time is around um, joining up commissioning. And I think Better Care Fund begins to take some part of that journey and I think we need to really accelerate it. Well, I think what's been really remarkable watching the conference today and the summit today is that there are no shortage of ideas about how those challenges can be met, um, despite the fact that uh, across the public sector the last five years has obviously been very difficult and challenging. Um, I think the key things that are coming across are that those challenges are going to be more difficult to realise.